So here on YouTube, we have seen the Amazon PC, we have seen the Wish.com PC, even the eBay PC, but have you seen the Dogecoin PC? Today, we will be building a computer completely from Dogecoin. We will be buying every single computer part with the cryptocurrency and then building it and then testing it to see how well the Dogecoin PC can run. Dogecoin has been such a big topic lately. Everyone's investing in it, even people who don't know what they're doing. But what's even better is that Newegg allows you to actually check out with this cryptocurrency now. You could literally buy things on Newegg with Dogecoin, the meme currency is real now. It literally equates to money. Kind of weird to think about that a meme actually turned into something like this, but uh, yeah, it happened. So my plan here is to find all the computer parts on Newegg. Graphics cards are gonna be a little weird because the prices on graphics cards are, they're just insane right now. So we're gonna get on Facebook Marketplace and see if we can get lucky and see if someone will let me buy a graphics card with Dogecoin. And if you didn't believe me, look right here, Dogecoin. You can literally pay with BitPay and use Doge. All right, so real briefly, let's go over everything that we had to buy for this PC. So for the processor, we went with the i5 4690K. We're gonna be paying around 162, but like I said, we're gonna be using Doge at checkout. So for the motherboard, this is what we're going with, the ASRock 797 Extreme LGA 1150. So that's gonna work with this guy right here. So this is the case that I plan on using. We'll see how it goes. If I don't like it, I have another case that we'll use just in case. For the RAM, we're gonna go with some Ballistic Sport at 154, an absurd price, but I'm willing to pay that for this video. So for the power supply, we're gonna go with the EVGA 600 watt at 118. We're gonna go with a couple one terabyte hard drives at $46, and then we're gonna go with one SSD for the actual boot device. So that's the easy part. I could actually just get on BitPay and just pay with that and be done with it, pay with Doge, but the harder part is gonna be getting a graphics card. And that's mostly because if you get on Newegg right now and look up like an average 1060 three gig card, it's about $800. Now it just so happens I bought mine new for about like 160 and I'm not gonna pay $800 for this video. So we're gonna get on Facebook Marketplace and see what happens and see if we can find anyone epic enough to actually let us pay with Doge. So after scanning for literal hours and talking to people, we finally found someone that was cool enough to actually let us pay with Dogecoin. So this is a card that we ended up going with and I ended up talking them down to about $200, but he actually let us pay him with Dogecoin. So I just got his wallet and paid him and it was literally as easy as that. Now we'll see if we actually get the item because I don't know if I'll ever get that money back if he decides not to send it. So real quickly, this video spent a lot of my Dogecoin earnings, so I would really appreciate it if you guys smash that like button down below if you're enjoying this video so far. Go ahead and subscribe if you enjoy content like this as well because we got a lot more coming for you guys. All right, so now's the fun part. We get to wait for shipping. Who knows how long that's gonna take. So I'll see you guys whenever we actually get all the items. Then we'll go ahead and build this PC and benchmark it and see just how well a Dogecoin PC can perform. All right, gamers. <laughs> all right, gamers. So we finally have all the computer gear. We have all of it here and we're going to go over everything. Let's take a look at the graphics card. We have a 1060 and obviously this one was the one from Facebook Marketplace that we bought with Doge. It's used, but it looks like it's in really good condition. So this is gonna be our CPU cooler. It is RGB, very epic for gamers. So this is a motherboard that we're gonna be using. It has a processor in it already because I'm impatient. And uh, yeah, we have the IO shield here so we can actually make this PC look halfway decent. And we'll see how this old hardware does. All right, so we have two eight gig sticks of DDR3 memory, totaling at 16 gigabytes of RAM which I think should be all right for what we're gonna be doing with this. And we have two one terabyte hard drives. Don't ask me why I just didn't buy like one two terabyte because it would have been a lot cheaper, but we went with two one terabytes because we wanted to spend a lot more doge, right? Could you see the dust? So for the boot drive, we have a SSD. It's a 120 gigabyte sand disk. Don't ask me why I picked this one out. I don't actually recommend this over like any of the other brands because they kind of suck, but I got a decent price for it, so we went with it. So this is the power supply that we got. It's a 600 watt, and we have the black cable, so it can actually like blend in with our PC. Hopefully, uh, we're able to cable management this a little. Uh, yeah, we'll see how this does. All right, so the most important part is the case. Now, I know what you guys may be thinking. It's not the AeroCool case that I was showing you, and that's because when I got it, 
it was like clearly used and like there are fingerprints on it and yeah we weren't going to do that so we're going to use this instead this is the msi mag case and it is basically the same price but a lot nicer it's not just plastic there's like metal in it and rgb fans and it's quality and we could keep going for a while let's build a pc mother <laughs> all right gamers let's build a pc So the PC is complete, it is beautiful, and now it's time to benchmark it. So we're gonna play GTA, Fortnite, and Apex Legends, and we'll see how it runs. All right, so while I'm loading GTA, I had an ingenious idea, and I wanna know if you guys wanna see it. I wanna mine Dogecoin with the Dogecoin PC. So let me know if you guys would like to see that in the comment section down below. GTA, let's go. All right, now benchmark time. It's just a black screen, so I'm kinda worried. Oh, yes. That actually looks pretty dang smooth. For running at the settings it is for a 1060, like, I'm proud. I'm proud of you, you're doing good. It looks like we're gonna average around like 90 to 100 FPS. So uh, we're doing pretty good for all Dogecoin earnings here. All right, Apex time. All right, Apex is looking beautiful. We have some high settings going on. We're running at about 60 FPS without V-Sync. Just so happens we're hitting basically the perfect number. Look at that gamer moment. By the way, I'm not even looking at the monitor. I'm just straight up looking at my phone. So this is, this is weird. Headshot, baby. All right, so yeah, that's Apex Legends. About 60 FPS. Okay, Fortnite time. All right, so with like epic and very high settings, we're getting about 70 FPS unusual. Right now I'm in some like crazy like death run. So it kind of destroys my FPS if I look up because there's just so much junk. But yeah, Fortnite, playable, epic games, get it? <laughs> that is the Dogecoin Gaming PC. Thank you guys so much for watching this video all the way through. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you slap that like button. Comment down below if you want to see this thing mine Dogecoin because it's a Dogecoin PC. We got to make it happen. Before we go, this is where Doge is at as of building this PC. Hopefully after Elon Musk makes an announcement on the SNL thing, we get a, a nice big spike. But yeah, just thought it'd be cool to document where we're at as of building the Doge PC.